Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a great day. Um, quick video today. Uh, I woke up yesterday not feeling the greatest. I'm like, okay, well, something's brewing here, and it is flu season. And although I'm not as um, interacting with as many people as I used to be when I was actually training clients in the gym a long time ago, it seems like a, a different lifetime ago now. But I started, I mean, I, my, my face started to feel a little bit congested. congested. My sinuses were a little bit uh, more plugged up than usual. And so I was like, okay, well, this is not good. I have too much stuff to do. I cannot get sick, and I don't. I don't get sick. That's that's my that's my rule of thumb. So, um, you know, just basically in the morning, what I do is, as I mentioned, I make my green smoothie. Okay. So I'm gonna give you a couple tips to like fight the cold, fight the flu here, naturally. Um, naturally, normally in the mornings I make about a, this is a liter of green smoothie action. Today I just made this right now for lunch. I actually had eggs for breakfast this morning. Um, so this one is a little bit different than my usual smoothie. This one has uh, blueberries, strawberries, kale, lettuce, parsley, banana, sorry, no banana, I don't have any banana, um, pear, apple, and wheatgrass in this bad boy. This is awesome stuff. This is like my, my fuel to, to get me through the, the second half of the day. So I've got tons of great nutrition, antioxidants, vitamins, minerals coming in through here, alkalinity, all sorts of good stuff. At the same time, I'm not a huge, I'm not a huge supplement guy, as you know, but I'm also not an idiot, and I know that uh, during times where my immune system is having to fight whatever's happening, um, I need to boost that. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, Amy went to the health food store, grabbed some vitamin C. This is actually a really cool vitamin C. I've never used this one, but it's by Progressive uh, Nutritional. It's one of my favorite companies. Uh, they have some really, really good products. So this one here. Uh, 600 milligrams of vitamin C, which is good. Uh, I'll probably do about 10 of these today. So with, with vitamin C, what you can do is, if you want to go to bowel tolerance, so especially when you're fighting something, vitamin C, at the, especially at the early stages of it, if you can bump up the vitamin C intake to almost bowel tolerance, which means that take enough vitamin C before you start getting diarrhea, that'll let you know how much vitamin C your body can handle and process. And generally when you're sick, you can get a lot more vitamin C in because your body will actually use that vitamin C. Also realize that vitamin C is water soluble, so when you go pee, you'll lose a lot of that, you'll basically lose a lot of that vitamin C. So you don't want to take a huge amount of vitamin C at once, break it up over the day, okay? So I'll do about um, maybe 10 of these capsules. So that'll give me 6,000 milligrams of vitamin C. Um, yeah, so that's quite a bit, but again, I need to you know, get back to health. And already I feel a lot better. So. The other thing that I've been using, uh, just started using, is elderberry, elderberry, which again, I had Amy get at the health food store. Um, this stuff is amazing, and there's a lot of research behind elderberry and how powerful it is in terms of fighting bacterial and viral infections. So, you know, if the flu is a virus, then, you know, then we want to take care of that as well. Um, elderberry, again, you know, unless, unless you live close to an elderberry bush and you're going to eat pounds and pounds upon pounds of elderberry, uh, you're better off just getting uh, elderberry extract, which is in this format right here. It's basically uh, comes with a droplet, you just drop it in some water. And the beautiful thing about elderberry is that it's very high in um, anthocyanidins, which are uh, pigments in plants that give them this deep purple color. So if you see berries that have like these like really, really deep colors, those are like pro anthocyanins and proanthocyanins and all these other pigments that are in there. And they're very, very helpful at building your immune system, fighting uh, bacterial and viral infections, as I just mentioned. So this is my, uh, my three-prong approach to getting healthy in 48 hours or less. A massive amount of green smoothie action, massive amount of vitamin C up to vitamin uh, to bowel tolerance, and I'll do about, I'll do probably five servings of elderberry throughout the day. I recommend it's three to five, and that's basically just two full droplets in water. And I'll do that probably five times today. So, but the next time I make a video for you, I'll be back to full health. Not that I really feel like I'm really sick, but I can, you know, you, know, you feel something coming on. So that's the time to really nip in the butt and to take action. So I wanted to put this video together for you to help you out if you're feeling that way at all or if you have family and friends that are feeling the effects of the flu, this is what you want to do. All right, uh, if you want more information on this flu fighter stuff, we have an awesome free, uh, not a free report, sorry, but a, um, 
a great report called The Flu Fighters, and I'll put a URL at the end of this video for that. And it gives you eight natural remedies to fight the flu, and that's something that I use um, quite extensively as well as a reference. And if you want to learn more about it, then just go to the URL below this video or at the end of this video or somewhere, and you can learn more about it then. So until then, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, stay healthy, and uh, talk to you soon.